Hey everybody, Chris here from It's Mead Made, and today is honestly not going to be that long of a video. But, this is something that's going to save you a huge amount of time, especially if you do multicolor prints in Bamboo Studio. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I have been using this new feature a lot lately, and it is a total game changer. But, before we get into that, I wanted to share something that I am really excited about. Something called the 3D Print Guild. It is a brand new membership community that I have been quietly building behind the scenes for a while now. This is going to be a home for makers of all levels. It's a space to learn, ask questions, collaborate, and grow. Inside the guild, you'll get access to live calls, training sessions, and a growing library of courses and resources. It's a place where you're not just stuck figuring it out alone. It's definitely not one of those giant groups where you're just getting judged for asking a beginner question. So if that sounds like something that you want to be a part of, make sure to jump on the wait list. The doors are opening soon, and I've got a free gift waiting for you when you sign up. A Nomad Sculpt Jumpstart Tutorial where I walk you through every step of creating a model from scratch all the way to getting a 3D printed file. The link for the waitlist is down below. Okay, that's enough of that. Now, let's get to today's tip. All right, so I wanted to just take a few minutes and show you this new feature that has come into Bamboo Studio that I've been using for a little bit now, and it has just saved me so much time, especially when it comes to dealing with 3MF files that are already like colored and painted. When you bring them in, sometimes they don't line up like this. Like this is a raccoon and I should be only using three colors. It's black, gray, and white. And those are the only colors I need here, but you can see that I've got brown, blue, and yellow, even though I have these colors in my AMS. And that is because the person that actually painted this had their spools mapped out differently. And this is kind of a problem, at least it used to be a huge problem, because I would either have to completely repaint this, or I would have to go to my printer and then change my slots. So for blue, I actually need black. So I would go to my slot and I would say, okay, let me move my black filament spool to slot one. Let me move my gray spool to slot two, and then three is uh, actually for this one four, and I would make this white. But now they've got this new button here, and it's been here for uh, two versions now, but I've been using it a lot lately, and I just thought, you know what, maybe you guys could benefit from knowing how to use this too. So here we go. All you're going to have to do, this works a lot like uh, when we're syncing our filament here. But all we're going to have to do is we're going to sync printer information. Then it's going to pop up right here. Now, this is the thing. We're going to be able to, it's either override and it is what it is, or we can map it. And the mapping is exactly what we want. Because if we look right here, blue, this is one slot right here. Now, I want to turn blue instead of A1. I want it to use B2. Then when it comes to the brown, I want to also do it here, and I can say, okay, the brown, I need to be gray, so it's going to be B1, so I'll drop that down, let's say B1. Then the pink is actually going to be white, so I'm going to say this one is going to be a 4. All right, so then I'm going to go ahead and hit synchronize now. And it instantly has just changed everything for me. So I am good to go, and all I need to do is hit print now because everything is synchronized beautifully now. So if I hit slice here, I've got it all sliced. So now I have it all sliced, and all I have to do is hit print, and it has automatically given me the right slots, and I can hit send. Now the old way, before they had this button, you could have mapped it this way as well, and this was handy, but sometimes with the thumbnail, when you had a lot of things on the bed, it was kind of annoying. But this is still another way that I could say, okay, for slot A, I want that to go back to blue. And you can kind of see it right there. But I want this to be black. 
So changing and mapping these are really nice because I know I've had a couple questions in my free community, people asking about how to map things properly, and I just thought this would be a great opportunity to show everybody how to do this. So all I've got to do now is just send this to the printer and we are good to go. Now, this really is not that huge of a tutorial here, but this is one of those things, if you are 3D printing multicolor filaments and you're bringing in models, this is going to save you so much time because the old way you would, like I said, either switch your spools around or you would have to completely repaint it and it's so much nicer now. But like I said, this isn't a huge thing, but it can definitely save you some time when it comes to changing all of the different colors of your 3D printed files. Also, if you haven't signed up for the Guild waitlist yet, the link is down below. You'll get instant access to the Nomad Sculpt Jumpstart course, and you'll be one of the first to know when the Guild officially opens. This is going to be a place where we can grow together, and I would love to see you there right from the start. And that's pretty much it. As always, I wish you a great day, and I'll go ahead and see you in the next video.